Okay, so there's this little, um, like, question, I guess, that's supposed to, like, see somebody's morality somehow. There's no right or wrong answer. I don't actually remember where I first heard this, but it's always been, like, in my mind somewhere. I think about it sometimes. But recently, I was really, really thinking about it and thinking about, like, what is the correct answer? Apparently, there is no correct answer until now. I have solved it. I have cracked the code. And finally, I know the correct answer to this, like, question, I guess. So for the question, um, it's like if I were a train conductor and I were just driving my train, trying to get my passengers from point A to point B, and all of a sudden on the tracks, there's construction workers. So there's const- there's four construction workers on the track that, that I'm going on, which is like straight ahead. And there's two construction workers on the track to the left. So basically, the um, question is, would you stay going straight or would you turn to the left? And can- like, how many people do you want to run over? Do you want to run over four people straight ahead of you or two people on the left? That's basically the question. And I'll give you the correct answer. And you know, at first, I was like, yeah, of course, I'd go to the left and I'd just kill two people. It's better than four, you know? Four is greater than two. Two is less than four. That's math. You know, it makes more sense. But the more you think about it, you realize the more you should kill those f- other four people instead of the two. So let me give you some reasons why four people should die and not two. So my main reason for why four people should die and not two is because the four people who are standing right there in the middle of the train tracks are dumb. And the two people who are not are smart. So let, let's, let's go over this really quick. Trains are loud. Okay, they are so loud. And they're not hard to see either. They're usually pretty easy to spot. And when you're a construction worker, you know that you should be looking out for a train, even if you don't expect one. And they should know that the train can't stop. So if they see a train or hear a train, they should probably get off of the tracks. Especially if you know that there's going to be a train coming straight ahead, even if you don't. Even if you don't know where the train is going to go, you still shouldn't be on the tracks. Like, you're dumb. The people on the left are smarter because they know that the train is not going to go on there. Or they're just lucky enough to not be on the train tracks that the train is going to go on. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if I'm making that much sense right now, but I'm trying to explain how they're dumb. Also, you know... <clears throat> hypothetically if i were in this situation since i am the train conductor hypothetically i would be ringing my horn thing multiple times so they would have more than enough time to get out of the train tracks so any of them who do stay on the train tracks are dumb enough to deserve to die i'm sorry but it's true you know dumb people only leech off the taxpayer so if anything, I'm doing people a service. Alright, so on to the next reason. You know me. You know me. I do not like to do any illegal activity. And if you think about it real real big and hard, you use your little brain, you use your little brain cells. Um, if I were to go to the left to run over those two people, it's kind of like murder. Because... Instead of going straight, which is the way that I'm supposed to be going, then it would just be like an accident if I went straight. They were on the road or on the tracks because they're stupid. It's not my fault. They were on the tracks. I I can't stop the train. But if I purposely shifted over to the left, those people were never in the way of the train. They're innocent. So they're basically being murdered. And I think that that's a pretty good reason not to to kill the two people but kill the four people if if you're talking to me i don't even want to like 
go anywhere near the, um, <laughs> what am I trying to say right now? I don't, I don't even want it to be kind of like, oh, maybe it could have been murder. I don't even want that. I want no murder. If I have to kill somebody, I'm not going to murder them. It's going to be an accident. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all for this point. It kind of is like the other point. For my next reason, we're going to be looking at the um, construction workers themselves and really seeing, like, who they could be. Because, obviously, in this hypothetical situation, I would not know the, constru the construction workers or their character. But I do know that there's more of a possibility of one of the four construction workers being a criminal rather than one of the two. Now, that's just simple science and probability for you. So, I would probably maybe stopping a serial killer or some other kind of criminal. So, you're welcome, police force. My next reason is a pretty simple one. I have a job. My job is to get my um, passengers from point A to point B. If I were to go left, I'd be going off track, which would cause them to take more time to get to their destination. And that is not what I want because I am a good train conductor. And I'm sorry if there's some people in the train tracks, they're not going to stop me from getting where I need to go and where my passengers need to go. Alright, so my brain is completely fried from this strenuous, strenuous thinking of finding reasons um, to defend my point. So I'm just going to end it here. Um, so I think I, I, I have the right answer, that's for sure. Um, so what I'm thinking now is I should probably become a train conductor because I think I'd be pretty good at it.